Okay, so to um, flash the bootloader onto the Ender 3, uh, you're going to need a Arduino Uno or a clone. So I've got this off Banggood. I'll pop the link in the description. And some DuPont cables or jumper cables. Okay, so you can buy these off Banggood as well. I just got them in the pre pre made sets. Uh, really cheap. So again, I'll put those in the description. And uh, we're going to get started and flash the bootloader onto the Ender 3 in order to upgrade the firmware. So the reason I'm upgrading the firmware is the, uh, the the firmware that comes with the Creality obviously doesn't have the thermal runway protection, which is what I'm quite worried about. So if my thermostat fails, uh, it's just going to keep um, pu pushing uh, heat to the hot end and until it catches fire. So we want to avoid that. Um, there's loads of different firmwares you can use. I'm going to be using uh, the TH3D firmware. Okay, so what you want to do is connect your Arduino Uno up via USB and you want to connect it up to your PC. So it's literally plug in the Uno and then you're going to plug it into your USB port. Okay, and you should get uh, some flashing lights on the Uno. Okay, so this is the uh, TH3D page where you're going to download the firmware from. You want to download the full package, and at the moment it's uh, U1R2.7. So we'll just click that and it'll download. Once it downloads, we will open and extract it, and I'll show you what we get. Okay, so that's downloaded. This is the uh, sort of zip folder we get, and we want to extract this to the desktop. Okay, so that's finished extracting. You get the folder, just double click it, and this is what you want. So you want the open firmware windows, just double click, allow access. Okay, so this is what you want, and once we've done that, Okay, so we're going to try and set up the Arduino Uno as a programmer. So we're going to go to uh, File, Examples, and set it to Arduino ISP. Another window will open, maximize it. And you want to go to Tools and Board, make sure it's set as Arduino Uno, which it should be. Uh, it should also select the COM port that the board's on, but if not, you have to check in Device Manager which uh, COM port your board's on. So it should be COM6. And then you just hit... Uh, upload and it should upload what we need to the Uno. And you can see it says done, thank you. So that's all done. So now we can connect the Uno to the Ender and start um, flashing the bootloader. So the bootloader is a little piece of software that goes onto the board that tells it to load new firmware and the Ender 3 ships without uh, a bootloader flash to it which is a bit of a pain and why we have to do this okay so i'm gonna hook the uno up to the actual printer now so just get it resting on there i'm gonna take the cables the dupont cables and basically i've got five uh, one, two, three, four, five cables, which are female to female. So that means uh, female on both end, and then one female to male. So I put the uh, diagram on the board, uh, on the screen, so as you can see uh, how it should be cabled up. But essentially, pin ten, which is this one. Uh, one, two, not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, goes in there. And then we'll leave that for one second. And then these ones, it doesn't matter what color you use, as long as um, the same wire goes to the same position. So there are one, two, three pins at the, the front of the board here, and you'll have three pins inside, one, two, three, and then another three in front. So the back, these ones which are classed as the back, will go to the ones at the front in here so just make sure they line up you can see on the diagram on the screen uh, how that will work so essentially you just want to make sure they all go to the same place so like i said there's five of these so 
just make sure they hook up. It's quite a fiddly job, just take your time, you don't want to make a mistake. Don't have the USB cable plugged into the PC either. Okay. And then on the front, we're going to go for the first one. And that will go in to the first one, farthest on your right at the back. And then second one. And then second one at the back. Okay, and then that leaves us the, this one that we've put into the mail that went into the pin 10. We'll go onto the further side at the back on the left as you're facing your machine and that is that okay so we're going to connect that up to the mm. PC again and what we can see is that the Ender 3 has got some power. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to flash the bootloader onto the Ender 3. Okay, once the board's connected, all we need to do is make sure that we go to Tools, change the board to the Sanguino, go to Tools again, make sure COM6 is selected, make sure it's 60 megahertz and Arduino as ISP and then we can burn the bootloader and that's done now the bootloader has been flashed I've taken off the um, Arduino Uno connected the Ender 3 to the PC via USB and we'll go back to the PC and flash the firmware Okay, so we finished with the um, Arduino as ISP, so we can close that down. And so we're back to this uh, this screen, which is fine. And what we want to do is change uh, this program back to uh, this one, AVR ISP Mark II. I'm going to check the COM port just to make sure that that's correct. So I'm going to go to Tools and make sure our, it's probably COM7, make sure COM7 selected. Uh, it's different because it's directly connected directly to the printer now. I'm going to click onto Configuration H, which is here, and then we need to scroll down until we find the correct printer. I'll just keep scrolling down you'll see here here we go so Creality Ender 3 options uh, and we're going to want to uncomment and you can see here where it says define Ender 3 just take out the two forward slashes which will decomment it like that and we're good to go and we might make a few other adjustments Okay, by scrolling down, uh, you'll find here some um, misc items, but it's slightly different on the newer version. So what you want to be careful of is getting the right choices. So here it says um, use Ender 3 boot screen instead of TH3D. So you can uncomment that if you want to have it. Just use the the Ender boot screen. Um, what else have we got? The printer name is going to be a bit random. Uh, here, so you use your own printer name, which we will, and we'll change this. Change that to the end of three, and that's pretty much it. So we're just going to check. I just want to check. So Sanguino, 
yes com 7 that's all fine so we are good to try and flash it so we'll literally just hit the upload button and see what happens Okay, so we can see that it's worked, it's flashed, and it's telling us what um, firmware you were using, and that's it, done. So we've got the new firmware on there, and um, happy days. So it should have the thermal runway protection, and uh, all I've got to do now is do a test print, make sure everything works okay. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is just make sure that the EEPROM is enabled. Um, so... We're just going to do that from the uh, on-screen menu. And just scroll all the way down. You see, initialize EEPROM. That's it. That's done. So uh, EEPROM is basically uh, it's the onboard memory that stores the settings. So if you want to store settings, you need to have the EEPROM initialized. I believe that's what it is. I'm not 100%. I'm going to be honest. I'm not 100% sure. So if you do know, comment below. Um, but I think that's what it does. Any questions? Uh, comment below. Um.